All right, today's project is I have a JTM 30 that's brought to me to, by a customer who said he had this amp with another tech that couldn't get it running. Well, one of the things I've discovered is the uh, power supply transformer. Had no voltage on the secondary. And first problem was that the uh, power supply transformer for the JTM30 is no longer available from Marshall. So I had to get a substitute and I got one from Hammond. It's a 290QX. I like Hammond. They make good stuff. And I was comparing the two. And if you look at the 9 and 10 pin on the new one, you get about 53 ohms. If you look at the 9 and 10 pin on the old one, and we get a dead short. So, shorted secondary is definitely one of the many problems this amp has. And uh, here we go. Before I put these in, I like to uh, I like to get an idea of of what the resistances are. So between pins two and three, eight point seven. Pins five and six, about ten ohms, ten point three. Between pins 9 and 10, about 53 ohm. Between 13 and 14, 5.2. And between 11 and 12, the point six. All right, I also like to record my readings using the inductance meter. I set it for L and I use with the 100 hertz. Pins two and three, four hundred and fifty four millihenries. Two and three. Five and six. Four hundred and fifty one millihenries. These two should be pretty close, usually. Between pins 9 and 10, 2 point, let's say, let's round up 9, 2.9 Henry's. Thirteen and fourteen. Eighteen millihenries. And the last reading is twelve, eleven, and twelve. Nine hundred thirty micro Henry's. There you have it. One observation I'm making is that the pin arrangement on this thirteen and fourteen are the twenty five volt. 
and that does go to this spot right here so the numbers this transformer does match the original one from the factory but it does not match the numbers on this schematic it is a slightly different order you can see 9 10 11 12 13 14 this is 9 10 13 14 11 12. don't let that fool you here's the old one t401s you can see where it looks like it got kind of hot right there got the new one in I think the only part that would be confusing is the, these first two wires coming from the uh, AC input circuit board you go Go brown on two and blue on six, like that. Two wires would be the blue on pin three and brown on pin five. These come from the power switch. In looking at your secondary, in uh, testing this thing, I noticed that whoever worked on this before had the uh, power switching the standby switch in upside down so a little bit annoying but I had to take them and put them in right and I also didn't trust their wiring code so I made I double check this and I know the wiring code is correct so that is the correct wiring for the standby All right um, the amp is working uh, but with the old output tubes, I was getting about 100 milliamps through the plate, which is crazy high. So I tried a different tube, and I still got 63. Uh, I want to get that down to about, I don't know, between 40 and 50 and somewhere. So I am going to change out the ZD101 and see what happens. I actually changed the diode. Uh, ZD101, 9 volt zener. I changed it to an 18 volt zener. And now my bias is 36 milliamps. But since my plate voltage is 444, 70% is right around 30 milliamps. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's close enough.